Good morning, dragonflies, and welcome to the new school year. My name is Mr. Madsen, for those of you who don't know me, and I'm the school counselor here at Duncan. And I just wanted to take a moment to say hi and tell you I really miss seeing your faces and seeing you here at school. I can't wait until we can have school as usual with everyone here. But for now, we have to be at home and learn in this way. So we're all gonna have to make the best of it. And some of us, it's gonna be a stretch. It's gonna be hard for us. And some of us, it's gonna be easier. The hardest thing I think is just not seeing each other and having that connection, being able to talk to each other and play chess, different things like that, see our teachers. So that's gonna be really hard. During this time, you're gonna have lots of feelings, lots of feelings, and feelings that are normally small feelings will all of a sudden feel like big feelings, just like Kelso talks about small problems and big problems. Our feelings that are normally small feelings, we get frustrated at something, will turn into huge, big, upset feelings. And that's happening for all of us. And it's important for you to know what to do when you're having those feelings. I'm gonna link something in this video. It's called the Virtual Calming Room. It's a website, a page on my website that I developed uh, by looking at some other websites. And it'll have activity, activities that will help you um, manage those feelings and deal with that stress. There's music on there, there's exercises, there's drawing activities, all kinds of activities. I encourage you to check it out. Um, those activities should help with a lot of the feelings. Also, talking to your parents. Your parents are, the, are your older siblings. Either one, those are people who can relate to you and help you with those feelings as well. So one of the hardest things during this time is we're gonna have lots of unanswered questions. And when we don't get answers to our questions, again, that causes big feelings. So I wanna encourage you to take care of yourself and learn how to deal with those feelings any way that you can. Be, you might have to take a walk. You might have to um, stop what you're working on and do something else to take a break. That's okay. Do what you need to do to bring that stress level down so then you can focus and be able to do the academics that your teachers are putting forth for you. Okay. I also wanted to let you know that um, I will have my classroom up and running again soon. And just like last spring, there will be a lot of activities. I'll have activities that help you identify your feelings. I'll have activities that help you develop coping skills for those feelings. I have my read alouds, which I had, I think, 10 read alouds, and I'm gonna add to that this year. Maybe you just need a story to listen to. I've added some fun sound effects and music to the stories, so I hope you enjoy them. If you haven't checked them out, I encourage you to check them out. Also, I'm trying to figure out how to do chess club. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna try to figure out last spring I did chess puzzles and I imagine I'll do that again this, this year. Um, but I'm trying to figure out a way that we might be able to play chess. So stay, stay tuned to that, okay? If you have any questions or concerns, know that you can reach out to me you can reach out to any of the teachers, Mrs. Behunen, Mrs. Dodge, anyone here at Duncan. We want to help in any way that we can. We all get frustrated with when things don't work, so we're here to help. Please contact us. Until we talk again, I want you to stay strong, be safe, and take care of yourself. Bye for now.